all drugstore products except for my highlight. I will admit that was Anastasia Beverly Hills, but everything else is drugstore makeup. I am not a makeup artist by any means. These are just some products that I just discovered. I saw great reviews on them and I wanted to I wanted to try it. And I want to show you how they look and I want to talk about how they felt and if they're buildable or not buildable and all those great things. So if all this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Okay, so I am going to start off with the, what is it called? The Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation by Maybelline. Love this color. Um, I'm using the color Toffee. Just starting, just wiping this on. Look, love it. It's light, feels creamy and soft. Feels like my skin's gonna feel like a baby's bottom. I don't know if you can, if it's translating good on the camera, but you know. hey, don't forget your necks. Love this. Look at how much it gives you. So this is a good amount, opposed to, I have these also, these, um, I'm gonna be using the um, L'Oreal Infallible Sticks. They give you quite a lot as well, so. And I'm gonna be using the foundation brush, L foundation brush. I have to say, this brush is amazing. As I'm applying right now, it's not leaving any streaks on my skin. Okay. What I'm going to be doing with foundation sticks because I wanted an alternative for instead of like a cream foundation. I love those as well, but I find that they don't last as long throughout the day. And the transference when two different surfaces, if you like hug someone, get on their shirt and stuff, it's so easy to do. And I have different setting sprays. Comment down below if there's a spray, maybe a certain kind of setting spray that helps it stick better. I I just, I don't know. So I'm, I'm just, Trying new things so far. I love this. I saw really good reviews. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna use Natural Beige 407, and this is going to be the L'Oreal Infallible Long Shaping Stick. So the first one I used was the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me, and now I'm doing the L'Oreal for under my eyes for highlight. This is just so creamy, it's light. Like, I don't feel like it's cakey at all. I'm loving this. So I went and I cleaned my brush and I did my contour 
Um, I use the Honey 409 by L'Oreal Infallible Stick. So those are my contour areas. I'll go back over them just so you can see what I did from here. Shoes of the jaw. I kind of did a little bit under my lips so it looks like I'm coating. Um, I contoured my nose and I put a little, little bit on my forehead. I already have a really small forehead. So, but I just like to, I don't know, I just like to put product everywhere so then it just looks even. I feel like it looks a lot more even, but I don't know, it could all just be in my head. So now I'm going to blend it. I do my eyebrows I'm gonna set my under eyes so I'm gonna be using the elf translucent powder and I just still use that small little blending brush I like that it's wet too or damp from the setting spray because it really sticks so it's kind of like a little hack Okay, so last but not least, because I'm not trying to do a dramatic look, I'm just going to put some highlight highlighter on and I'm going to put a winged liner and some mascara and that's it. So I'm using the, um, the Glow Kit, Anastasia Glow Kit. You can use any sort of highlight. I also have this like, um, what is it again? It's Milani. It's a Milani um, baked, baked bronzer big bronzer that um, actually I'll just probably use that so that way I'm not okay so I'm gonna use big bronzer I'm gonna use my finger I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid gives it a look I used to be so good at just applying makeup with my finger when I was younger so this brings me back Bring, definitely brings back memories and sometimes you, your finger just does the job you don't even really need it does better than brushes something about maybe just the oil from your finger or I don't know the warmth from your finger just grabs the product a lot better so I just did a little bit of that on I don't know if you could really see but I just put that on my lid and I'm going to use the um, Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner from Maybelline. This is a 
brush looks like in case you're wondering. It's all about the brush, right? I just, I swear it's all about the brush. It's not even about, because I feel like they all have the same products in them. It's really just all about the brush. So I just go over, kind of comb through all of it. There we go, making faces again. Like, do we realize the faces that we make? Okay, so, did the mascara, and you know what, I am gonna go. I, you have to do the highlight. The highlight it just brings everything together. So, I'm gonna be using a bronze highlight for um, the Anastasia. I can go lighter too, but the bronze just really just looks natural. I just, I love highlight. Like, I don't, I just don't know how you just can't go with that. You just can't go without highlight. It just brings it all, just brings it all together. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go moonshine or moonstone. your skin look healthy glowy um, and last but not least we're gonna be doing our lips and I'm gonna be using the Milani color O2 Lux Lux L-U-X-E Lux Lux I usually wear lip liner but I'm not gonna do it today I'm not really gonna go anywhere set my face with this Infallible L'Oreal Pro Spray. So what I do while my makeup is setting and I'm fanning myself, I usually try to keep my eyes closed until it's all dry and I feel like the spray is all dry on my face. And then I open my eyes and I don't know, for some reason it's just like, it's almost like someone else did your makeup. You're like, wow, you know, it's like a grand reveal. I don't know, I'm so weird, but you gotta try it. If, you, if you've never done it, I say try it. I totally just. <laughs> and this is the final look. So I hope you enjoyed and I will be putting the links of all the products that I used below. I'm not a makeup artist by any means. This is just what I use and what I wanted to try. I've heard so many great reviews about these stick foundations. I'm a fan. I'm not sponsored. With, for any of these products, but I'm definitely a fan. I'm definitely gonna be using this. This is gonna be my summer look. It is lightweight, it's buildable. I like that it, all these working together, where I did my highlight, my contour, they all just blended very well. It's creamy, it's soft. I don't know what else to say. I'm in love. <laughs>